Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Fake Card Friday. So this is another fake card that was sent to me. So we're going to go ahead and go over this card and determine whether it's fine or broken or if it exists as a real card, what would happen to it, how does it support the game, how does it affect the game. Alright, so this is Violon Acumen, I want to say. Uh, for some odd reason, I want to say a cumin, but <laughs> I'm a cumin. <laughs> but no, I think it's a cumin. Anyway. It is a normal spell card, and uh, I'm assuming that it's for Vylons. I don't know much about Vylons, besides the only Vylon that I know is Vylon Prison, because he goes in hunters and makes synchros. That's it. That's all I know about Vylon. So, the, the whole Vylon archetype, I'm not too sure with it, but um, we're going to go ahead and try my best. Maybe I can uh, get some help by uh, reading people's uh, uh, comments in the, on the site, on the comments in the comment section. All right. So this is Violin uh, Akumin. Uh, it is a normal spell card that reads, Reveal two Violin cards in your hand. Alright. Shuffle up to three cards from your hand into the deck, then apply the effect depending on the number of cards shuffled into the deck. Alright, so... Uh, I kind of feel like maybe if you're going to reveal the two violent cards, maybe you have to shuffle those two and one other card back in the deck. It seems kind of weird to go ahead and go, play this, reveal, uh, you know, two violin, and then shuffle three other cards, but three different cards, but I guess. Alright, so, uh, so you reveal two, you shuffle three, so you, you had, alright, let's, let's give me, give me five, alright, five cards in my hand. So I play this, so I'm Ned one. Then I reveal two, and I can shuffle those two cards, so I'm going to shuffle three back. So that's a neg four. So hopefully this card uh, does something demonstrably good. All right. So, um, and then depending on the number of cards shuffled uh, from shuffled into that. Oh, it's up to three. All right, so you don't have to, but it's up to three. All right, you can activate one of the Vylon effects. You cannot special summon monsters that are trying to activate this card except for Vylon monsters. All right. So, if uh, one, you can set one Vylon spell card directly from your deck. I mean, that's pretty powerful for only one. But it is still technically a neg one because you play this and you take one card, shuffle back into the deck, and then set. So it's still technically a neg one, so I can see that. Alright, um, two. Uh, shuffle, th I mean, draw three cards, then shuffle one card from your hand into the deck. Alright, so, you play this, you take three. I mean, you take two, shuffle it, so that's the next three, but then you draw three cards, so you even out, but then you have to take one card from your hand and shuffle back into the deck, so it's still a neg one. So, that's okay. That's okay. It's, it's, it's very powerful. It's a very powerful play, you know, especially with the whole restriction of having to reveal two violent cards. So, if you don't have any violent cards in your hand, uh, you know, I can definitely see this card being a dead draw, but you can also just, you know, reveal itself and, you know, shuffle itself back if you get multiple and clog. All right, and if you get th in a three... Uh, you can add up the three violin cards from your deck to your hand. So, play this, shuffle three, it's a neg four, but then you search for three, so it's a minus one still. So all these effects are still minus ones. So you're not really evening out with any of them. So it's not like you're going like, Rhoda, search for warrior, oh, I evened out. No, you're always neg one just by activating this card. So, um, not too terrible, like I said. I'm not sure, I don't know a lot about violins, you know. Uh, it seems like adding up the three of your Vylon cards from your deck to your hand would just be just crazy good. But, uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and read what the creator of this card says. So, alright. I think the Vylon archetype needs some love. Alright, that's fine. So I decided to make a card that can give them some consistency. Alright. And this card can be dangerous since Vylons are known for their notorious, uh, KS loop for potential OTKs. Uh... Because of this, I decided to give the cost area to two costs, restricting the card's activation to once per turn, and limiting the special summon to violent monsters only during that. Well, I don't know anything. Of, yeah, I'm not too familiar with the violence or their OTK, so if they have an OTK, I guess. Um, if their OTK involves summoning non violent monsters, then I guess that's okay. Uh, you know, the real the revealing isn't really a cost at all. That's not even a cost, so, you know. If you had to take those two Vylon cards and then shuffle them back into the deck, you know, as, as, and along with one other card, you know, then I can see it. But, you know, just revealing two, I mean, that's not anything, you know. Um, shifting it to once per turn, that's fine, because you might, you know, draw into multiple of these and keep playing it and go through your deck at the speed of light, because this card can, of course, search for itself. 
So, um, man, maybe not. Maybe it'd be like you can add up to three violent cards from your deck of your hand except this card. Maybe, maybe try that. Change that with editing because it seems like kind of dumb that you can keep adding itself with its own effect and keep thinning your deck. You know, despite being a neg one, you could still deck thin. So, yeah. All right. So uh, apparently we have uh, one person. Who uh, comments? So he said, I'm not too familiar with Vaughn's and OTK, but I think this card is fine. The drawback should be enough to keep in check any potential abuse. I'm not concerned if the shuffling one to three card deck is a cause because if you choose three and the opponent negates it, take a huge blow on card advantage. When I see cards, I just in the place that costs as part of the effect. Alright, so you won't take any further losses to spell from the other. Uh, yeah, so uh, apparently. Um, it was changed. It was changed because apparently the whole shuffling thing would be a cost, and you know if you're you have to pay the cost. So you know if your opponent, if you would activate this card and you know activate three and shuffle three, and your opponent can respond with you know a dark bribe or or a uh, curse sale forbidden spell, and you have to pay the cost, you would neck so hard. So the way that it's worded right now, which is I'm assuming the change to it, because then the creator said thank you fix. So I'm assuming that the way they were reading it now is a fixed version of it. Uh, the cost is the reveal, so, uh, yeah. So, my only opinion with this card, I, I say it's balanced, you know, as violence, I don't know anything about them, but from what I'm reading, it seems like a fine card. The only thing is, I kind of feel like, um, you know, if you're going to reveal two violent cards, I feel like you should, those violent cards should be selected as the shuffle targets. I don't think, I, I don't like the idea of going like, oh, I'm going to show you two violent cards and take three other different cards, shuffle them back, and then go ahead and add you know, three violent cards to combo with my two violent cards in my hand and just, you know, OTK and loop, because apparently they have loops, so, you know, that might be kind of unhealthy, uh, depending on what the loops are, because I have no idea what the loops are. If you want to tell me the loops in the comment section below, hey, more power to you, so I know, but, you know, violence aren't even relevant, so it's not really something I should be worrying about. You know, if I get hit with the loop in one of my videos, then hey, more power to you, but I just don't know if there's some OTK loop or whatever. I don't know what it is, so, yeah. Uh, besides that, the card seems really balanced. Uh, you know, so that's my only gripe. I think that you should have to shuffle the two violent cards in your hand. Just so you can't go, alright, activate this, reveal two, shuffle other cards back, add those, including the violent accumulate, and then do the same thing next turn, just by revealing the same card. I kind of feel like if you're going to go ahead and uh, extend uh, with this card, I kind of feel like you should have to shuffle those two cards back. And it's third effect where you add three violent cards, you shouldn't be able to select this as a target. So, uh, yeah. Uh, besides that, this card seems fun. Like I said, I don't know anything about the OTKs and loops, but, uh, inter interesting card. You know? So, uh, I say balanced. You know, yes, broken or balanced, I say balanced. Alright, so tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. Like I said, I don't know anything about Vinelines or their loop or the OTK, so if you guys want to go ahead and tell me in the comment section below, go ahead. I'm not going to take the time to look it up. I don't care enough to look it up. So, yeah. Alright, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So, thank you for sending me uh, this card to uh, review for Fake Card Friday. Like I said, um, anybody can send me a Fake Card. Go ahead and look at it. I'll determine whether it needs to be looked at or not, and we can go ahead and uh, do that for next Friday. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with some more Fake Card Friday. All right. Thanks for watching.